So here's a quick introduction to Frankly MLS and specifically uh, showing you how to use the new email alerts. We now have email alerts for your saved properties in spreadsheet mode. So when you save a property, um, you can now add your email address and be a, sent an email every time that there's any change to that property, even the most minor of changes, not just price changes. So first of all, real quickly, um, some of the things that the site does you might not be aware of. It allows you to search via keywords, so zip code, remarks, city, and you can combine those two. You can do something like uh, Lake Ridge Bank Owned, or you can type in Motivated Seller, um, and then Spreadsheet is the de default. A lot of people here put subdivisions. Uh, a new feature that we have is if you want to put multiple zip codes, you use the OR. You put in OR, so those two zip codes, you do a search, and it will show you both homes in one zip code and the other zip code. Um, there you go. Both zip codes. Here's one zip code and here's the other zip code. So going back to the front page, it also works on your cell phone. So if you have a cell phone, um, by default it should route you to this page. And if you're in front of a house, you just type in 555 Oak. If you know the name of the city, great. You type in Arlington and you'll find out information on that property uh, real quickly, faster than any other site if they even have cell phone mode. Um, the photos on our site are actually four times larger than any other site. So when you go to a full listing, most um, all the other sites have images that are one quarter of this size. So they're four times larger for all 85,000 homes. Um, why anybody uses a smaller site, any sizes, I don't know. Uh, you can also search by the listing agent's name. So if you wanted to type in a listing agent's name, you can type that in to see uh, what listings they have. You can type in phone numbers to find out uh, if you know of an agent's phone number, um, you can find that out. We also do a short sale scrubbing, which means when you do a search, if it has a star next to it in the spreadsheet mode, that means that it is a, uh, that it, so if you just do a search, let's just, we're searching for short sale Arlington, but even if you just did a search for straight uh, Arlington, if you see a star next to it, that means it's a short sale, and there's a separate blog to learn more about what short sales is. It also accounts for people putting the phrase not a short sale, so it should not have a star if there's not a short sale. Um, so there's no gee whiz, no realtor, annoying realtor ads. Uh, we also have days on the market like no other site that does both days on the market M and days on the market P, one for market, one for property, which means that it shows you um, the home, the, the days in the market regardless of the number of listings, relistings by different agents. If you hit the question mark next to any of these, it'll give you more information on how it works. And finally, the wiki style, uh, this is where you're able to add MLS photos. Um, both the buyer agents can add MLS photos or property photos to the MLS as well as individual um, individual buyers can, can do this. These are our top contributors here on the right-hand side. If you don't have a buyer agent, you might consider using one of them. Um, and these are the homes that they've reviewed by adding photo albums, sometimes adding 50 to 100 photos to a photo list bank property. So now we're going to get back to uh, sign up for email alerts. So I've done a search here for short sale Arlington. And these are the results. Uh, by the way, you can mouse over the images to see uh, to see them without having to even click over. So if you hit the heart symbol here, it will save that as a favorite home up here in the top area. And I'd love to get your feedback whether you think it should be somewhere else. But um, then you get a message underneath that says, send any changes to this email address. So I'm going to add my spam filled email address. So you can add your uh, work email address. You can add the email address that you do for signing up to web-based stuff. I'm not going to sell your email address to anyone. I might email you occasionally to say, hey, how's it working, beta tester, and give me some feedback. So I'm signing up here. And then it says the email's not verified yet. Um, I might change how that is worded. So you log into your email program, and you'll get a confirmation alert saying, hey, you've got to confirm this email address, and these are the homes that you've saved. When you click on that, it'll take you back to the front page. Um, so if you do any search or if you press this button over here that says retrieve my favorites, the heart symbol, it'll show you that the alerts are now saved to this email address 
So any changes to these properties will uh, send you an email alert. That includes price changes. Obviously, anytime the, an image is changed or anytime the remarks are changed, you'll be sent an email. And the neat thing about the price changes are the subject line will actually have the price, the old price and the new price. So you don't even have to click on the link to come back to the site. It'll just tell you right there. And no other site that I know of uh, does that right in the subject line. So if you get things on your cell phone, um, it saves you some clicks. So now here's something neat. You might have noticed that there's no uh, passwords. So there's no passwords to the account, which means that everything is done via cookies. So if you are on a different browser, a different computer, how do you load it up? Well, this is the Chrome browser, so I've done a search here, and I've saved the home here. And again, it'll ask me, where do you want to save your email? Where do you, what email address do you want to attach to these saved properties? And I attempt to make a, to do a sign up, and it says, hey, wait a second, you've already saved homes. Do you want to display those homes now? By pressing get my listings, it will pull the saved homes from the other browser or the other computer. So now it's all call consolidated on that one account. No passwords. Yeah, technically someone can hack into your account if they know your email address, but you know what? I just despise passwords, so it's not really that top secret of stuff anyhow. Love to get your feedback on that. Um, love to get other suggestions on how to do it faster, and shortly we will have email alerts for the actual phrase. So if new properties hit, new listings hit, then you'll get an email for that. That's pretty much it. Uh, give me your feedback. Send, uh, click up here in the upper right-hand corner. Click the feedback button. So few people send feedback, so I actually make changes sometimes within a matter of hours of someone uh, giving me some feedback. So thank you very much.